Hey guys, it's Michael from Devoted to Vinyl, and in this video, we're going to be talking about whether the vinyl bubble is really about to burst. So I feel like we go through this every single year. There's always somebody on the internet that wants to write about the demise of vinyl records. There's always somebody that wants to snatch the joy of vinyl out of everybody's hands. Always somebody. And right after the article comes out, whether people go to music forums to discuss it, or they go to Reddit, or they want to actually just talk about it in the comment section below the article itself, people start fighting. Now whether people think the writer is actually correct or totally off base, talking about the decline of vinyl records is actually a really sensitive topic for a lot of people. The big problem with articles like this that come out and really just want to spell the doom for vinyl records is that you kind of can't prove it. I mean, yes, it's true. You can take a look at sales records year over year for vinyl records and make a conclusion. But the problem is it doesn't tell you why. You can't just look at vinyl record sales from one year to the next and not factor in certain types of things. Like how about what albums came out that year? Did a singer like Adele or Taylor Swift drop a new album? Did an artist like David Bowie die, resulting in his fans buying more of his records? Did an album that's a fan favorite get reissued with additional songs? These are things you have to factor into the equation or else you're cherry picking your facts. This conversation really reminds me of how writers talk about Hollywood and how the demise of movies and movie going is going to happen soon. These writers often want to talk about the fact that ticket prices cost too much money, that popcorn is too expensive and nobody wants to pay $5 for a soda. Or they'll bring up the fact that every movie is a sequel or, or that nobody wants to watch superheroes anymore. And then that becomes the overwhelming narrative. Until a movie like Get Out or Logan or Deadpool comes out and totally wrecks the box office. And then people start to realize, maybe it's not sequel fatigue or superhero fatigue. Maybe we just want movies that take risks and are good. So for anyone out there that's actually reading these think pieces and is now worried that your vinyl collection is totally worthless, or maybe you were thinking about jumping into the vinyl hobby, but you're kind of worried because of all of the doom and gloom that's happening. I have some advice for you. Are you ready for it? Okay, here it is. Buy what you like. That's it. Don't worry what other people think when it comes to vinyl. Don't worry what other people say when it comes to vinyl. Buy what you enjoy because you enjoy it. It's outlasted eight track, cassette tapes, CDs, downloads. You remember Napster? And now streaming? It's not going anywhere. As long as you're spinning records that you love, that's all that matters. So if you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you would hit the like button, guys. It really helps other people find this video and I would appreciate it very much. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below, guys, because I'm gonna be bringing you more videos about vinyl and music on this channel. And so if you subscribe, you'll be the first to know when a new video drops. And one more thing, please comment down below. I would actually love to know what are your thoughts on this topic? Do you get bothered when people write pieces that talk about the demise of vinyl records as a whole? Or does it not bother you at all? Definitely share your thoughts with me down below. I'll actually be in the comments section responding to as many comments as I can. And I can't wait to come back next week with a brand new video for you guys. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. And one more, okay. One more! Hey guys, it's Michael from Devoted to Vinyl. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the vinyl burble. <laughs> we're gonna be talking about the... <laughs> what the hell are we talking about? Eight track cassette. <laughs> Wait, <no>. Damn. <laughs> eight track C, eight track cassette tape CDs. <laughs> oh man.